Hey tech enthusiasts, get ready to buckle up because well today we're diving into the fury world of AMD's latest and best. Well that is the Ryzen 9 9950X and let me tell you this CPU is just about basically on fire. Meet now the 16 core 32 threads powerhouse that's about to redefine your expectations. Yes this Ryzen 9 9950X featuring this AMD Zen 5 modified architecture or upgraded one at least comes with a base clock of 4.3 GHz and a mind-blowing boost clock up to 5.7 GHz, at least for AMD. If this was a car, then it could be a Ferrari on steroids. But hold on to your thermal pace, folks, because, well, this CPU isn't just about the speed. In Cinebench R23, it scored over 53,000 points. Yeah, that's right, 53,000. That's like winning the CPU Olympics right there. And for all of you overclocking wizards out there, yes, this CPU handles overclocking like a champ. Even on stock speeds, this chip right here is a monster, but pushing it with LM2 cooling, it's like strapping a rocket to a rocket. Yeah, it is that fast. But wait, there's actually even more goodies. The AMD Ryzen 9950X has been overclocked to 6.6 .6 GHz, with LM2 scores of 55,000 points in Cinebench R23. The AMD XOC or the Extreme Overclocking team held a live demo featuring the Ryzen 9 9950X overclocking for the Zen 5 Tech Day attendees. Among them were members from Gamers Nexus who shot a dedicated video of the demo that you can check right here. The XOC team used an Asus X670E RG Crosshair G motherboards, which is a special board for overclockers featuring two DDDR5 DIMMs. They chose the flagship 16-core Zen 5 processor for this test, which was placed under a liquid nitrogen pod and subjected to advanced testing. While the AMD Ryzen Master was functioning during the test shot, a custom app that was made by Asus was actually used instead. The processor managed a score of 55,000 points in Cinebench, while consuming up to 552 watts of power and running at minus 90 degrees Celsius measured at the pot. To achieve this result, the CPU was overclocked at 6.4 GHz. However, as mentioned during the demo, the CPU can go even higher to 6.6 .6 or even 6.7 GHz under specific settings. According to AMD, the Ryzen 9 9950X can score 41,922 points at stock settings. Users should expect a 4.7% higher performance with PBO or Precision Boost Overdrive and Expo DDDR5 OC profiles engaged. By using Curve Shaper, users may increase their performance by up to 8%. That is on stock speeds. This is probably as far as any average enthusiast will go, but if you enable LN2, then you can get basically a 32 performance uplift. No sponsor, just quick mention, I do other things here on the channel like uh, reviewing tech products that I always buy with my own money, so no strings attached with any of the manufacturers. I will always be fair and true to you guys and show you everything that you need to know as they are, no strings attached. I also fix stuff and occasionally break stuff here on the channel, so if you want to see more of that, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, leave whatever you want, the other button works just as well. Be awesome and let's carry on. Well, what about that gaming performance? Well, this chip has got you covered as well. It gives you a 23% boost in performance over the Intel Core i9-14900K and in productivity tasks, it's like a whopping 50% faster. So this CPU doesn't just multitask, it multi-blasts. So it doesn't really matter if you're like, you know, editing videos or developing games or you just want to flex to your friends that you're rocking the Ryzen 9 9950X in your rig right there it got the power to basically cover all the speed and the sheer audacity to crush any task that you might throw at it. So I kind of wonder now, uh, given all the news and breakdown that I had here on the channel, you can definitely check some of my old videos right here. What is your breakdown right now? What are your thoughts on the Ryzen 9000 series? You know, you could drop a comment below, give me your thoughts and let's get the conversation started from there. Which of the Ryzen 9000 series CPUs are you most interested in and are you looking forward to the X3D? Are you even holding up to the X3D or maybe consider to just buckle up now and buy whatever comes first? But what's that you said? When can you buy them? Well, it's now official. AMD has confirmed it and at least several 
Uh, retailers are also gearing up for the Zen 5 based Ryzen 9000 CPUs that are just about to hit the shelves on the 31st of July. Yes, that soon, so mark that calendar for 31st because that's when you can find these CPUs in stores. Anyway, this launch includes of course the 4 SKUs which are the 16 core Ryzen 9 9900X, the 12 core Ryzen 9 9900X, the 8 core Ryzen 7 9700X and of course the 6 core Ryzen 5 9600X. But hold on, AMD is keeping that price info under wraps until next week. Ha <laughs> ha sneaky sneaky AMD! But I think they might be doing this to keep Intel on their tiptoes or to get at least better feedback from the reviewers who already have these CPUs mounted into their systems and are doing some big boy testing for us. AMD has clarified rumors about potential changes to the Ryzen 7 9700X TDP and now confirming it will launch with a 65 watts TDP. Only the Ryzen 9 9950X will use the 170 watts TDP while the Ryzen 9 9900X will remain at 120. Both the Ryzen 7 9700X and the Ryzen 5 9600X will still be available with 65 watts TDP. There has been significant discussions about the 8 core SKUs, particularly since AMD Dawn's Valley stated that it wouldn't match the Ryzen 7 7800X3D in gaming performance. AMD appears to be confirming this with a slide comparing the Ryzen 7 9700X to the first generation X3D SKU, the Ryzen 7 5800X showing on average 12% performance improvement. AMD is also sharing a slide showing series to series comparisons where AMD is claiming 11 to 22% improvement gen to gen while lowering the TDP for three of the SKUs. So what do you think will be the best use scenario for the Ryzen 9 9950X? Would it be gaming, streaming, content creation? Let me know, comment down below, let's start a chat. But what's that, you can't mess around and wait for the 9000X3D to drop? Well, I got some awesome news for you since we are there. Of course, right now there are some huge price drops for the Ryzen 7000 X3D series. AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D just dropped now to a record low price of $465. AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D is a 16 core Zen 4 processor equipped with a 64 megabyte 3D cache. This SKU and the 7800X3D are currently considered to be best choices for enthusiasts and gamers, especially those on the AM5 platform. That is of course until AMD launches a successor. The 7950X3D has received several price adjustments over the past few weeks alone, gradually decreasing from 554 then dropping to 500 in the last two weeks. The current price is even better as the SKU has hit an all-time low of $465 and this price now is available at least at the moment through Amazon and Newegg. So if you can't wait, this is your upgrade door opening right now to something solid and tested with great performance uplift. But uh, if you ask my honest opinion and humble one that is, I would actually wait and get the latest and greatest if money was no object because since you've waited that long to make an upgrade, you might as well just get the latest and that's it. Guys, if you found this video helpful, you know what to do. You can smash that like button like everyone says. And uh, you know, it really helps the channel, so I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And don't miss out on future tech videos updates. Hit that subscribe button as well, ring the bell if you want to, and if you know somebody that's interested, share this video with them. Maybe they are considering an upgrade right now, and they don't know exactly what to choose.